Hello everybody, we are back again with uh, season, I believe this we're moving into season 4 episode 1. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to be a very eventful episode. Um, I, I wished it would have turned out a little bit better, but we'll go ahead and see what the farm does have to offer us. Um, so it looks like everything's done. We'll have to harvest a little bit before we go take care of the animals. And the reason why I think this might not be very eventful is... I had an expansion idea... Uh, for this episode. And I don't think it's going to be possible... In this episode, so... But timing is everything, and the timing didn't work out. You know, I went ahead and did the uh, pumpkin patch and uh, what's it called? Cornfield expansion. So we'll go ahead and see. Wow, we're really covered in snow. Winter doesn't always look like this. We got a gold nugget. Yeah, winter is not always this heavy. I love the snow, though, it's awesome. So, the yellow onions definitely didn't pay enough. Let's go ahead and do yellow peppers. Those aren't going to pay a lot either. Yeah, a lot of the crop that we decided to, to do was lower in cost because we couldn't afford it at the time. So, that's kind of what, what we're running into right now. But we'll go ahead and see. It's not a big deal. The, the season entries don't need to be a special thing. I just kind of wanted them to be, but it's, it's not a big deal. Because I did that big vineyard ex expansion in uh, level uh, episode six of season three, so it really doesn't matter. I just I, I was kind of hoping for a bigger and better one uh, this uh, season entry, but you know it is what it is. So we'll go ahead and harvest the yellow peppers here, and then we'll go fly rid of the animals. Uh, actually, we'll we'll go ahead and do the fish first because uh, they, they seem to take a long time, so we'll get them done first. Cool. So, 74k before the fish, so you know what that's going to turn into. The fish pay out, they pay out pretty good. Swordfish is 7.25k. That is un unbelievable. So, no ducks, a bunch of pigs, wow. It's pretty shocking, the pigs still have feed. Wonder if that has anything to do with some of them already being done. So the unicorn finally leveled up. They're hungry. Poor animals. <laughs> They're all mooing at me. Wow, they were all so hungry. My goodness. Alrighty, so... For the trees, I don't think we have anything... 
cabbage is done, obviously. That was a 45 minute crop. Not a lot of money coming in. It's pretty obvious on why, but we'll go ahead and Let's keep doing our thing. I really like having these trees outside the flower garden. Actually, I think we can harvest. No, we can't. We'll go ahead and grab the trees first and then we'll get the flowers. Flowers should pay off pretty nicely though. I keep forgetting that we have all these different varieties planted. So that's real nice. Cool. All of our honeycombs. Weed is done. White sorghum is done. Wow, let's go ahead and get this all harvested. I didn't know we even... I didn't think wheat was going to be done yet. I mean, obviously we're a little behind in normal amount of income. But we did spike back up over uh, 1,000 gems this episode, which is really nice won't be enough for a new piece of land but it definitely is a good boost from what we were at starting the episode and that i don't even think we we, we didn't even have any peppercorns that's got to be just from i guess the flowers yeah just the flowers and the the unicorn i guess So, a decent payout. It's not going to be great. We're going to definitely have to get back on track. Uh, systematically, we're going to have to start doing some crop that isn't super expensive, but does pay well to get us back on track. Or we do more expensive stuff in smaller space. Kind of depends. Because this isn't really the biggest payout. We do have strawberries, though. Uh, the pumpkin or the, um, the pumpkin or the corn isn't going to be ready. They're not going to be ready for another day. So we'll have to wait on that. All the grapes are ready, as always. Let's we'll go ahead and grab some cypress. Get that up to level 9. Once I get it to level 9, I'll move on to the other crop. I just want to grab what we have here. At least some of it. We don't gotta get too crazy with it. Cool, level 9. Alrighty, so... We did water. So, let's go ahead and water again and see what happens. Down to, wow, six hours? We'll definitely take that, because if I decide to do a early morning episode, we can do that. Let's go ahead and see what the, um... Let's see what the, uh, corn is at. Six hours as well. Yeah, I mean, let's go ahead and try it. I'm not going to be opposed to it. If we can get the corn and pumpkin a little bit faster, we definitely will. I didn't think about this. So the cactus is done, but let me go ahead and finish the uh, watering the corn before we go do that. Hopefully we have enough gas. Eventually I'd like to get a gas station down here, but if I do, it'll be uh, in a different area. It won't be exactly where uh, 
uh, where the gas station is now. I have it there because in the old times, the uh, the Nebraskans would make uh, gasoline from corn, ethanol, and they used to have supercharged engines and motors that would run for hundreds of, if not thousands of miles. And I just thought this was a really cool idea because it pairs kind of all of it together. I know I said like New Mexico for like the desert purpose. But this game is kind of viewed in a different scale, because if we can go from one patch to another patch, we're not crossing state lines, it's just, it's essentially all it is is terrain differences, so I think it's pretty cool to have different terrains in this game, and even though something might be one shock to another, I don't think it's a big deal, because, uh, okay, before we do that, yeah, let's go ahead and get real gas. I just think it's cool that you can do all these different uh, terrain possibilities. Like the snow is really cool. I have some ideas for a snowy uh, region. I don't really know exactly what, but I definitely have like a couple patterns. I don't want to say patterns, more like um, I guess just the ideas for decorating. I have some different ideas, like decoration ideas for a winter area, or a snowy area, kind of one that stays snowy year-round, regardless of the season. So that'll be fun. Alright, so strawberries are getting us 1.58k each, which is pretty good. It'll definitely boost us up a little bit, but we're not going to be able to afford the normal stuff that we always afford. Um, we might actually harvest the vineyard and leave it dry for a little while. I'll have to kind of see what we look like. So, yeah, we have nothing over here. So, let's go ahead and hop back to... Yeah, everything's cleared up. We have no other crop. So, let's go ahead and regroup at the market. We'll sell. We'll sell some stuff. So, some pretty good gems, but it's not going to get us what we need for a new piece of land at the moment. I do have an idea for a new piece of land, but this definitely won't do it. So, 1.23. Ooh, let's go grab... Oh, winter is almost over. Let's get the money trees. Quick, 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 quick. Very nice. Alright, we're good. Uh, I noticed that the rabbits needed harvesting. So, well, I guess we'll move into spring and we'll go ahead and see uh, what can be done. We'll definitely feed the animals first just to get a better gauge on our, our uh, money position after that point. Okay, so nobody else needs fed, and we're at 400,000. Bamboo's not going to give us much. I'm just going to leave that. Okay, so we're at 400,000. Let's go ahead and take a look at our... Oh, we have a new crop. It is not available right now, but it is shallots. Yes, I'm so happy. Oh, and we got barley. Oh, that is nice. Okay, so we so doing the onions and getting things to level 10, that really made a difference. Alright, so shallots, 2.2k, and you get 2.6k from them. Barley is 7.5k, and you get 9k from them. But that's summer and fall. Summer and fall. Okay, very interesting. Well, we can definitely do... Let's see. 
So goji berries surpassed 10. Ugh, spinach. It's so expensive. I want to do more, but it's so expensive. Cheddar cauliflowers, 45 minutes. But if we do another video later, early this morning, spinach might not be a bad idea. Because it'll level it up and it'll get us a lot of money. Well, 6.65k over... No, that's not that great. Let's look at the biggest dividends. So, rye is pretty good. Corn... Wow, Kiwi's not bad at all. So it looks like everything's about average. It doesn't look like anything's that much better than anything else. So maybe we will do something very expensive. 6.65, so that's... 650 gold extra per crop. But it's... Nah, uh, that's not really worth it. We need to do stuff based off time. Alright, so... We're gonna do some time-based stuff. So, we'll do some... Red goji berries. And, uh, I'm basing this off of getting another episode done... A few hours later. So, we've already got... We got red goji berries at an hour... 30... So I think we're going to base it off of, like, maybe a three-hour time span. I think that'll be good. Okay, so... And I'd love to do that new... Grain, what is it called? Barley? I'd love to do barley, but we can't. Rise a day. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do sunflowers. We're going for... We're going for time-based stuff, so let's go ahead and get off the grain patch. Um, two hours, one hour, 30 minutes. There's really not a lot. We can do spin. Let's just do spinach. Let's just do spinach until we're burnt out on money. gonna get us a couple pieces there. Wow, the gems are actually racking up now. What is that fish level at? 133? We'll sell. Alright, so fruit press as always. Grape juice stand. Gas. I mean, it's a decent amount of crop. Obviously, it's not like what we have been doing, but we just we're. I put myself into a hole with the with the corn and um, pumpkin. Well, let me go ahead and go see that timer. That way, we can base it off that too. I think it said five and a half hours. Let's see what it said over here. Pumpkin is, yeah, five. Okay, so it's technically six. Six hours is about 5.45 now. Okay, 5.45. So let's go ahead and run the cactus. We'll get the vineyard. And then we'll see where we're at after that. Because I do I do definitely want to get back. Okay, so the cactuses are gone. So let's get the vineyard. Looks like the red grapes are the most profitable one, as far as I've seen. Let's see what this is at. 425, yeah, so the red grapes are the most profitable. We didn't do any blue grapes this time around, uh, because we, we didn't have it available, so. Uh, but this is fine. This will get us at least enough money to feed the animals. 
one more time, and then I'll probably call the episode a little bit short, and that way we're uh, progressing towards um, some real income from spinach. Uh, what do we do? Goji berries, I think, as well. So we're going to be getting some pretty good income from this next batch. I just wanted to do times that were a little bit shorter and a little bit more profit. Um, we could obviously do the cheap stuff forever, but I don't think that's going to get us back on our feet. Also, it might be wise to stray away uh, for a little bit from like the donkeys and the cows because they're extremely... We might even stray away from the animals entirely and get the the vegetable area back on track. I'll have to kind of take a look at that because if we're, you know, I, and it, it's not, it's not like it's your, you know, in real life you'd be neglecting the uh, animals, but in this game it is, it is about strategic uh, matters as well. So what do we need right now? We don't need the stuff that animals give, say whether it's uh, dairy or eggs or anything. We don't need that now more than we need gold coming in. And the reason why is because all of the animal products basically just turn back into gems. We're doing pretty good on gems. We have 1.36k and uh, the problem right now really is the gold. So it is possible that we um, we stray away from the animals and move a little bit more towards getting the crop and the harvesting back on track. And that definitely will save a lot of money um, from feed. We're not going to be bringing in certain animal products, but I don't think it's going to matter. I think we'll go we'll go raw with the uh, we'll go raw with the uh, produce for a little while. I think that's going to be our ticket out of this hole that we're in. Because I think we just threw, what, $14,000 on uh, one pile of feed for donkeys. So it definitely has changed. It's grown up. Uh, got a character level up. That's nice. Thought it was a golden nugget, but it did make a noise. So it was just a character level up. Alright, so we'll get this. I'm not going to replant this at all. I think we need to save our money uh, for something that's a little bit more profitable. As much as I love the vineyard, it's not doing it uh, financially. And then you have to base it off of seasons. So I think we're, we're going to be better off uh, just doing things a little bit different, getting back on track, working the produce and uh, doing it that way. I think that'll get us back to where we want to be, to where we can start to uh, streamline all of our processes again. And you know, with having these two new crops coming up, like the uh, barley, and what was the other one? Um, the shallots. Having those coming down the line will be really, we'll need the money because I think uh, barley was 7K, 6K and shallots are like 2,000 per. So we definitely need the money to level those up. And that's what our focus is gonna be. It's gonna be leveling things up, getting high val high dollar, high value crop. Um, instead of, the small time stuff really hasn't been helping too much. I think it's kind of set us back in a hole. Um, nothing against the peanuts or anything like that, but we did do a huge area of peanuts that really doesn't pay off. It's more just for the 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 materials. So I'm getting a storage of peanuts, but I'm not really gaining any gold or um, diamonds really at that point. I mean, you're getting diamonds in a long term effect because nuts is what 300. I think it's like I think it's about 300 to sell at the market. So it's pretty intense with how uh, sparingly that is. So, I just figure we'll we'll back off that stuff a little bit and start to regroup, regain the farm. We'll probably cut down a lot of these, uh, the farm tiles, the tilled soil tiles, and we'll maybe just downsize the farm a little bit. But let's go ahead and see where we're at. Okay, so 
We know that the pumpkin patch in the cornfield is six hours. We have 172,000. We're gonna back away from feeding the animals to save some money. We're gonna do a little drought period. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and, and just keep doing more crop because we have 173,000. Let's max out everything we can for this uh, getting on to the next uh, episode. So we'll go ahead and do Cheddar Cauliflower because it's only a level 9 and it will be done in the amount of time for the new video. So we'll just try to fill out this area as much as possible. There's no way we're going to get it all, but we'll, we'll do what we can. Alright, so that's it right there. Um, you know, it's abrupt. I know it's abrupt. Um, but this is a time-based game, and I know we, you all know this. You've been watching the series, you know that this is a time-based game. So, it's not that I, you know, I, I'd play this game for hours if I could in every video, but you just can't. You have to wait. You have to base things off time. So, um, it's a short one, but there will be another one short a little bit later tonight. So, go ahead and stay tuned and join me in that one. You know, I, I believe that there's going to be a lot more coming up in that one we'll be able to replant a lot more and then and then we'll sort of even out the uh the cost of stuff that we start to uh spend on so definitely stay tuned for that and um i'll see you in the next one